As I lay in bed, a wave of dizziness washing over me, I heard the front door click shut. My partner, Alex, was leaving for a holiday with friends, a trip that had been planned for months. I'll call you every day, he had promised, but I couldn't shake the feeling of abandonment that settled in my chest. Alone and ill, I faced the daunting prospect of a week without the person who was supposed to be my rock. Little did I know, this period of isolation would become the catalyst for a profound transformation, one that would lead me to rediscover my true self and uncover a mystery that would change my life forever. My life had once been vibrant and full of energy. I was a freelance writer, working from home and enjoying the flexibility that my career afforded. Alex and I had a seemingly perfect life together, filled with love, laughter and shared adventures. But everything changed when I was diagnosed with a chronic illness that left me debilitated and exhausted. The illness took a toll on every aspect of my life. My work suffered, my social life dwindled, and my relationship with Alex became strained. He tried to be supportive, but the constant care and attention I required wore him down. When his friends invited him on a holiday, I encouraged him to go, thinking it would be good for him to take a break from the stress of caregiving. The first few days of Alex's absence were the hardest. I felt a deep sense of loneliness and despair, my illness sapping what little strength I had left. Simple tasks became monumental challenges, and I struggled to find the will to get out of bed. The house felt eerily quiet, and I was overwhelmed by a sense of helplessness. One evening, as I lay in bed feeling particularly despondent, I noticed an old journal on the bedside table. It had been a gift from my grandmother, filled with blank pages waiting to be written. Desperate for a distraction, I opened it and began to write. At first, the words came slowly, but soon I found myself pouring out my thoughts and feelings, releasing the pent-up emotions that had been suffocating me. Writing became my solace, a way to escape the confines of my bed and explore the depths of my soul. I began to document my daily struggles, my hopes, and my dreams. Through my writing, I rediscovered a passion for storytelling that had been buried beneath the demands of my illness. Inspired by this newfound creative outlet, I decided to set small goals for myself. I started with simple exercises to strengthen my body, determined to regain some semblance of independence. Each small victory, no matter how insignificant it seemed, fueled my determination to keep pushing forward. One afternoon, as I was going through an old box of photographs and mementos, I stumbled upon a letter tucked away in the corner. The envelope was yellowed with age, and my grandmother's handwriting was scrawled across the front. Curious, I carefully opened it and began to read. Dear Lily, if you are reading this, it means you have reached a crossroads in your life. I want to share a story with you, one that has been kept a secret for many years. It is the story of our family's hidden legacy and the incredible strength that lies within you. Love, Grandma. The letter went on to describe a series of events that had taken place long before I was born. My grandmother had discovered a hidden talent for painting, a passion she had pursued in secret due to societal expectations and family obligations. Her art had been a source of strength and resilience, a way to cope with the challenges she faced. Intrigued by my grandmother's story, I began to dig deeper into our family's history. I reached out to relatives, scored old family records, and even visited the local library to learn more about her life. The more I discovered, the more I realized that my grandmother's artistic talent had been a well-kept secret, known only to a select few. One evening, as I was sifting through an old trunk in the attic, I found a collection of my grandmother's paintings. They were breathtakingly beautiful, each one telling a story of strength, resilience, and hope. I felt an overwhelming sense of connection to her, as if she were guiding me on my own journey of self-discovery. Inspired by my grandmother's hidden legacy, I decided to take up painting. It was a daunting task, given my physical limitations, but I was determined to try. I started with simple sketches, gradually working my way up to more complex pieces. The process was both therapeutic and empowering, allowing me to express my emotions in a way that words could not. As my skills improved, I began to share my artwork online, connecting with a community of artists and enthusiasts who offered support and encouragement. The positive feedback I received gave me the confidence to keep pushing my boundaries, and I soon found myself lost in the joy of creating. During this time, my relationship with Alex had become even more strained. The distance between us was growing, and I could sense his frustration and helplessness. I knew I needed to address the rift between us, but I wasn't sure how. 
One evening, as Alex sat by my bedside, I showed him one of my paintings. I found these in the attic, I explained, handing him a piece that had been inspired by my grandmother's work. It's been helping me cope. Alex looked at the painting, his eyes filling with tears. Lily, I had no idea you had this talent. I'm so sorry for everything you've been through. I feel like I've failed you. You haven't failed me, I replied, taking his hand. This journey has been hard for both of us, but I think it's also brought us closer. I want us to face this together as a team. With renewed determination, Alex and I began to work together to adapt our home to better accommodate my needs. We installed ramps, modified furniture, and made other adjustments to make daily tasks more manageable. Alex also took on a more active role in my physical therapy, helping me with exercises and providing the emotional support I needed. As we worked side by side, our bond grew stronger. We talked openly about our fears and frustrations, finding comfort in each other's presence. The experience brought us closer than ever before, and we began to dream about the future with a sense of hope and possibility. As my confidence in my art grew, I decided to organize an exhibition to showcase my work. It was a daunting prospect, but I was determined to honor my grandmother's legacy and share my journey with the world. With Alex's help, we found a local gallery willing to host the event. The night of the exhibition, I was filled with a mix of excitement and nerves. As people began to arrive, I watched their reactions to my paintings, feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment. The support and admiration from friends, family, and strangers alike was overwhelming. During the event, I shared the story of my grandmother's hidden talent and how it had inspired me to rediscover my own creativity. The response was incredibly positive, and I felt a deep sense of connection to everyone who had come to support me. Towards the end of the evening, an elderly woman approached me, her eyes filled with tears. I knew your grandmother, she said softly. She was an incredible artist and a dear friend. She would be so proud of you. We sat down together, and she shared stories about my grandmother's life, her struggles, and her unwavering passion for art. She also revealed that my grandmother had left behind a hidden collection of paintings, which she had entrusted to this woman for safekeeping. The next day, Alex and I visited the woman's home, where she showed us the collection. The paintings were even more beautiful than I'd imagined, each one a testament to my grandmother's talent and resilience. It was a profound moment, and I felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and connection to my family's legacy. With the discovery of my grandmother's hidden collection, I felt a renewed sense of purpose. I decided to create a foundation in her honor, dedicated to supporting artists who faced similar challenges and helping them find their voice. The foundation would provide resources, mentorship, and opportunities for artists to showcase their work and connect with a supportive community. Alex and I worked tirelessly to bring the foundation to life, and it quickly gained traction. We received support from local businesses, artists, and patrons who believed in our mission. The foundation became a beacon of hope for many, a place where artists could find encouragement and empowerment. Life is a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns, but it is also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. My time bedridden had been a period of profound transformation, leading me to rediscover my true self and uncover a hidden family legacy. As I stood in a garden one sunny afternoon, watching the flowers sway in the breeze, I felt a sense of peace. I have faced immense challenges, but I had emerged stronger and more determined than ever before. The foundation, my artwork, and the relationships I had rebuilt were all testaments to the power of resilience and love. The future was uncertain, but I was ready to embrace it with an open heart and a spirit fortified by the legacy of my grandmother and the unwavering support of Alex. The journey was far from over, but I knew that with love and determination, I could overcome anything. Life continued to unfold with its share of joys and challenges, but I faced each day with a renewed sense of purpose and gratitude. The house, our home, stood as a testament to our journey, a place where memories were made, where love flourished, and where the past and future coexisted harmoniously. Alex and I remained close, our bonds strengthened by the trials we had endured. We gathered often at the house, celebrating milestones, sharing meals, and creating new memories. The garden blossomed, a living tribute to my grandmother's legacy. As I stood in the garden one evening, watching the sunset, I felt a sense of peace and fulfillment. The house was more than just a building, 
It was a symbol of our family's resilience, love, and unity. I knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, we would face them together with the strength and love that had carried us through the darkest times. And so, with a heart full of hope and a spirit fortified by the love of my grandmother and the unwavering support of Alex, I embraced the future, ready to write the next chapter of our family's story. The house, our home, would always be a place of refuge, a sanctuary where love and memories would continue to thrive for generations to come.